Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle and we build a lot of post frame structures on this channel, a lot of construction related topics. And today's video is gonna be about snow retention. Now, if you've ever seen these funny bars going across a metal roof, that is probably a snow bar and it is there to retain the snow. Now, specifically this project behind me is a building we did two years ago. In the same winter that we finished, we did not have snow bars. It's something I talk about with the client and we decided not to do it. And right there, you'll see a box that was mounted for a light. It was a big carriage house light. It hung over this door and the first major snowfall. Well, what happens on a metal roof is when the snow starts falling, it hits that roof and it makes a connection in the cold. Well, when the sun comes out or you get heat coming from underneath, it starts to create a wet layer between the snow and your metal roof, which acts as a lubricant. And when it finally lets go, especially on a standing seam roof, which has no fasteners, it is an avalanche. And I can tell you we've been around it. And if I think about it, I will throw some footage in right here of a job that we were on when it happened while we were there. <laughs> that was gross and awesome at the same time. But anyway, so two years later, we are back to put snow bars on this project. I'm gonna take you through that and hopefully we can avoid that in the future here and my client can finally put up a new light to, uh, to replace the one that got broke. Also over here, you'll notice we actually just finished a snow bar retention system above that porch, which we thought was gonna be fine since there's a porch, no need if the snow falls off, it's gonna hit the porch. But as you can see, it has been doing some damage to the gutter. So let's go ahead, let's get up on the roof and we'll show you what a snow bar is and how to install it. All right, up we go. It is definitely an advantage having a scissor left over doing this off of a ladder. All right. So if you look way over there, you'll see two sets of snow bars. Now, this manufacturer's suggested installation is that we're gonna do one bar 12 inches, I think it was eight to 12 inches, six to 12 inches off of the eave, and then a minimum of six foot higher than that. So we're gonna do a row at one foot and seven foot, just like you see down there. Now, the thing you'll notice about this roof, this is a fastener free standing seam metal roof. It's actually more like a snap lock. It's kind of what I would call uh, a more contractor friendly, less cost expensive standing seam roof. It gives you all the benefits of standing seam, but not as many headaches and it looks really nice. The problem is there's no fasteners in here, so we can't just go screw a snow bar up on this roof. We have to use a special system. So this is from Dynamic Fasteners and you'll notice there's a little lip here. This is actually going to get over the rib like so and that little lip is gonna lock in because this is a seam right here where this piece locked over the last piece. So we're gonna put these on, we're gonna set these screws. They recommend about 13 to 14 pounds, foot pounds of torque, which is not a lot. So we're just taking our, um, we're just gonna take our oil impulse, which we have a setting, a low setting that kind of torques out low. And um, I don't think there's an over driving problem that you can have. Obviously we don't wanna puncture this metal, but there's like four layers of steel right here and we're just gonna compress it and set these screws in so that these can't move. So let's go ahead and we're going to snap a line at one foot so that these are installed nice and straight and then we'll go ahead and get these installed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a one foot mark down here and then I'm gonna come down here. We'll throw another one foot mark and then let's snap a line, Greg, between there so we have a perfectly straight line to install these brackets to. All right, so now we've got all those marked. Let's see. Now we've got our brackets. Greg, I'm gonna give you some of those. And we've basically got some set screws. the bracket. So we're just going to take this set screw 
get it kind of started. Greg's got the uh, tool on him, I think. Do you have it? Oh, okay. So, it's important to make sure you're going the right way. Like I said, you've got this groove that needs to lock into the groove on the panel. And we're just gonna set this on our mark. So this mark needs to stay consistent. Did you change this back or? Okay, we're still there, okay. See, that's like tapping out. And these are now compressed in there and they're, uh, they really should not go anywhere. So we're just gonna go through, put all these on. Um, in there. I really do like the oil impulse for this. It's just a lot more tame driver that allows you to kind of get a real nice feel. If you had a torque bar or a torque wrench, I should say, I don't even have a torque wrench that goes down to 13 foot pounds. I think 20 foot pounds is the lowest mine went. So we did a little bit of testing at home and thought, well, we don't have to put a, a lot of stink on these guys. We're just gonna snug them up real nice and uh, we should be good. Let's see, we're gonna go, we got an eight foot bar. So I think that's it, we're not going that far. So we're just gonna run to there. All we're looking to do is maintain the snow above the doorways to stay onto the roof. We don't want it to fall off prematurely. So the point of these bars is to keep it up here long enough because the thing you'll notice here is we've got a, um, a leaf guard in the gutter. Now leaf guards are great for keeping the leaves since we're around a forest, um, keeping the leaves out of your gutter, but they're very bad at maintaining or retaining the snow on your roof. If you have an open gutter, sometimes that snow will come down, it will curl into your gutter, and then it will hold the rest of your snow up. With a leaf guard, it just basically flows right over. So these bars are going to hold the snow long enough on the roof to melt off naturally, go into the gutter hopefully, and then not cause an issue down below. All right, let's get these on and then we'll move to the next step. This is now the bar that we're going to be installing on top of these brackets. It already has a pre-notched hole every eight inches. So if you're doing a standing seam that has an eight inch spacing, a 16 inch spacing, 32, you're good to go. If you're doing a 12 inch standing seam, you might have to punch new holes or they might make a different bar, but this is perfect for us because we're using 16. So all these holes are gonna line up. Now. This is kind of ugly. It's uh, just a aluminum color, so it doesn't match a black roof. The noise Greg is making in the background potentially that you can hear is he's taking the plastic off of this piece of black metal that is the same metal as our roof, and there's a channel. So we're just gonna slide this in. All right, and so now at least when this goes up here on the roof and you see it from the ground, it's gonna look pretty and not be so obtrusive uh, and you know, kind of look off. So what we've got to do also before we put this up is we've got these guys. Now these, these are going to get mounted to this back rail like so. And what's gonna happen is when they go in between here, they're providing a dam or more stoppage for the snow. And they have this rubber gasket, so that gets pushed down into your roof and isn't going to cause any metal on metal, um, you know, rubbing or whatever and cause any scratching. So we're just gonna throw these on. One is gonna go in between every rib. So we need one, two, three, four, five. That probably not, right? Here, I'm gonna give you this, buddy. And then we are going to space these out evenly. There, 
there, there, there, there. Hmm. Should I put one on that end? Uh, I have enough. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and take this and we're going to kind of roll it in place. And now it's starting to make sense. Greg, you want to hold on to that for a second? I think we're going to, I know, you, I think we're going to put one over there. Okay. We got enough of them. Let's go ahead and put it over there. And these are, they have a, like a locking head. So that's going to lock on to the aluminum. It's going to dig in and bite so we don't have to worry about it loosening up over time. And we're just going to get that started. There is enough slop in this, so if it's not perfectly straighter, I don't know why it wouldn't be, because a snap line is pretty easy to do. And then we've just got this ratchet. This is a, uh, actually this is new for me. I've never used one of these until today. Um, I've always just used a hand ratchet, but this sucker is 3 8 drive, and it maxes out around 70 foot-pounds of torque. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go till it torques out. See, I can't, I can't overdrive it. There we go. And now this bar, I mean, this bar is locked on there nice and tight. It's got a nice aesthetic. You can kind of move these, make sure we're in the middle doing as much, uh, much work as possible, keeping that snow from falling down onto this doorway below us. All right, so now we gotta go ahead and do one more uh, six foot up. That's what the company wants you to do, not just one row. And there are some, some equations to follow if you have different sizes of roof, but this roof fits in the classification of minimally being six foot past this one. So we'll get this line snap, we'll get this one installed and wrap this up. All right, let's get our line snap because we didn't do that already. We are working above the lift, trying to be as safe as possible. We don't really have a fall protection anchor point, so this is kind of the next best thing in my opinion. And I put a fresh pair of shoes on. There you go, big guy. Really, this is uh, really quite easy, isn't it, Greg? And we've done them before where we have a uh, screwed roof. So we've got a like an exposed fastener. And that's really easy even yet because you just go through and you're just putting a screw right through your rail, right on top of every rib. And you got to do a little bit of um, waterproofing because you're making a hole in the roof. But with this, this system here, we're not making any holes. Um, which is nice because we spent a lot of effort on this roof originally to make it a leak-free guaranteed roof because there's no exposed fasteners and we didn't want to add a fastener just for a snow bar. So. All right guys, that is the snow bar installation. This is a dynamic fastener product called DynaGuard, and um, you know, I think it's one of the best systems out there. We're just doing it over our doors, but if you wanna do the whole length of your building, you can just keep adding these together. You've got a little attachment here. This goes between each rail, and it kinda joins them, keeps them nice and solid. We actually did use these on the one over there because that, that snow bar is about 12 foot. This is just covering a single entry door below us. Um, let me know down below, guys, is there another system out there that you've used? Is there something that we did that you would recommend doing differently? Uh, because we don't do this often, so I, I'm not an expert, but this is a pretty simple system. It's not hard to do, and I think anybody that has a metal roof that lives in a climate where snow 
builds up and then you get that avalanche effect, you might wanna add some snow bars like this or some form of a snow retention system. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. So if you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, and you wanna follow along with all the different construction content that we put out, hit that subscribe button. And if there's anything else you guys wanna know about a post frame or construction in general, drop it down below in the comments and I'll take a look at those and we'll see you on the next video.